case of antibody production. Antibodies are proteins that are produced by immune system in response to foreign molecules that enter the body. These foreign molecules are called antigens. The term antibody production refers to the entire process of molecular recognition of antigen by immune system resulting in selective production of antibodies that are able to bind with them, enabling it to be cleared from circulation. Paul Ellis' side chain theory was the first theory proposed for antibody production. Paul Ellis proposed the side chain theory of antibody production in 1900. He hypothesized the lock and key fit model of antigen antibody combination. According to Ellis' side chain theory, the specificity of the globulin side chains, that is, receptor, is predetermined. The antigen binds to the appropriate pre-structured receptor. The model also allowed a single cell to generate antibodies of multiple specificities. The theory states that the outer surface of certain cells in the body has side chains that can combine with foreign proteins and toxins by complementary shape fit, which later gets released from the surface of the cell. As a result of loss of receptors, the cells produce them at increased rate. These excess receptors are detached from the cell and circulate throughout the body. He believed that these receptors were antibodies. Ehrlich first described antibodies as magic bullets. Horowitz's Instructive Theory Horowitz and his colleagues proposed this theory in 1930. The theory was also called as direct template theory. This theory states that antibodies are a distinct class of proteins but with no fixed structures. Specificity is determined by the antigen. Single antibody producing cell can generate multiple different specificities of antibodies. Theory states that first step in the production of antibody is the entry of antigen into the antibody producing cells. Antigen producing cell use this antigen as a mold to modify the structure of antibody. As a result, the cells produce globulin molecules that are specific for the antigen. The antigen specific structural antibody is released into circulation and the antigen cast is reused. The diagram here represents four stages in the process of formation of a globulin molecule, six stages in the process of formation of an antibody molecule as a result of interaction of globulin polypeptide chain with an antigen molecule and an antigen molecule surrounded by attached antibody molecules and thus inhibiting further antibody formation. Next is the indirect template theory. This theory was postulated by Burnett and Fanner in 1949. The theory suggested that the genome of the antigenic determinants gets incorporated in the genome of antibody producing cells inducing heritable changes in them. These modified cells then produce antigen specific antibodies against the antigen. Journey's Natural Selection Theory In 1955, Journey put forward the model of natural selection for antibody formation. According to this theory, all possible globulin molecules, each with a fixed specificity for any foreign antigen is already present in the serum in minute amounts. The theory states that upon entry into the body, the foreign antigen that binds with the specific globulin molecule possessing specific receptors are taken up by phagocytes. These cells then produce replicas of the globulin molecule receptors that are secreted as antibodies. Clonal Selection Theory Burnett proposed this theory in 1957. 
this theory is considered as one of the key concept in immunology according to bernard's clonal selection theory each individual possesses a repertoire of lymphocytes and each one can react with single epitope theory states that when lymphocytes are stimulated by an antigen only that cell that is specific to the epitope gets activated and divides rapidly to produce its clones these clones start to secrete large amounts of antigen specific antibody that participates in the process of elimination of that antigen antibody forming cells that never encounter antigen are simply maintained in the circulation and do not produce secreted antibody clonal selection theory also provides a mechanism for immunological tolerance based on the principle that antibody producing cells which encounter specific antigen during fetal life will be selectively eliminated in 1974 niels k jorn proposed that the immune system functions as a network that is regulated by interactions between the variable parts of lymphocytes and their secreted molecules this theory is firmly based on the concept of clonal selection Jarnay even won the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine in 1984 largely for his contributions to this theory. Four tenets of clonal selection theory can be summarized as each lymphocyte bears a single type of receptor with a unique specificity. Receptor occupation by foreign antigen is required for lymphocyte activation. The differentiated effector cells derived from the activated lymphocytes are the clones of the parent cell and those lymphocytes bearing receptors for self molecules are destroyed at the early stage hence clonal selection theory is most widely accepted and provide a framework for better understanding of the specificity immunological memory immune network theory and the property of recognition of self and non self by adaptive immunity thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to remain updated for more such videos